What up, everybody? Tim Castleman, TimothyCastleman.com. Wanted to share today a tip with you about on-page and off-page SEO for your offline business customers. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of mystery around how do I get my pages to rank well in Google. And really, there's not a top secret formula. It's really based on time and content involved. The more content and the longer that content has been on there, the time involved, right? Usually, normally, the better the site will perform. Yes, there are exceptions to every rule, but in general, that's what I've found has worked best. So let's talk about on-page SEO. These are things like articles, press releases, videos, stuff like that. What, what the great news is is this. You can have that 100% outsourced. When I did my most recent site, I had everything from site design to the content to the logo to everything, 100% completely and totally outsourced. So I'm going to talk about just a few things. There's, there's a lot of things that go into it, but I wanted to cover kind of the most important uh, aspects. Number one is content on the site. What I recommend is you have the client create the content for you. If they are unwilling or unable or if you don't want them to, the next best, best thing is to get it outsourced. And I liked right to go to Fiverr or Odesk and get it outsourced from there. Now if the if the writer does not understand the subject well or it's kind of a boring or mundane subject, normally the writer will provide a questionnaire to me when they write the article. So when they want to write the articles, they'll give me the questionnaire, I'll take that questionnaire and give it to the business owner. And of course I'll take off all the information identifying the writer and I'll just say, hey, I've got this questionnaire for you, I need you to fill it out so that we can get the articles done for you. Because of course they don't need to know, nor do they care that the articles are being outsourced. Now, when I'm looking for outsourced writers, typically I will try a few non-American English speaking folks, um, but recently I've been going to more American based uh, and US based writers. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit more, probably about $5 an article, maybe a little bit less, maybe even a little bit more than that. But at the end of the day, they understand English, they write English, they know English, and a lot of them have great ideas about the subjects that they need to write about. And again, I get those typically, and recently I've been getting them off of Fiverr.com. Very easy to do that. Okay, So that's articles and that's just general content. If you want to go really special, you can go and get press releases done. And again, I use Fiverr or Odesk for this. And what I will do is two different things. Either fill out the questionnaire, have the customer fill out the questionnaire, or do an interview. So I will actually have the press release writer interview the business owner over the phone. The reason I do that is very easy, very simple. It makes the business owner feel like they are a celebrity, right? It's like, wow, I got interviewed for a press release today. Makes them all excited and helps justify your fee. And then I will put the press release on the website, but I'll also use free and paid press release site submission services. Totally up to you. You're going to get more juice, more link juice if you spend a little bit of money. So just type press release uh, website or press release submission website into Google. Find a few of them. Try them out. You can try the free ones. I'll be honest with you, my luck hasn't been nearly as good with the free as with the paid. In fact, one of my buddies, he ranked his website number one in Google doing nothing more than one press release and he paid to have it done. I think it cost him like 20 bucks. So that's two things you can do, okay? Articles and press releases. Last little quick bonus tip, uh, and, and people forget this all the time, and I'm guilty of it too, and that is SEO optimizing your photos. You know, with Google Images now, every image has a name. So instead of like, you know, IMG0046, right, type in Lubbock Sewing Machines JPEG or whatever the keyword is they're trying to rank for. So again, if you do those three things where you get articles done, you get press releases, and you optimize SEO optimize your photos, you're going to be better off than 90% of the competition out there. Now, the good news is, if you like those tips, I want to share something else with you. My buddy Will Perkins has put out an SEO monster course. And basically, this is how to open your own SEO business in your local market. A lot of people think, oh, website design or social media, but they don't understand that, yeah, you may have a pretty website, but it doesn't matter if nobody else can find it. And if you're like me uh, and have struggles with SEO and weren't really sure where to start, I highly recommend you check out this course. I know he's priced it dirt cheap, although I do think the price goes up with every sale. So the quicker you get it, the less you have to spend. But 
the great thing is this. He takes you step by step and not only explains to you the fundamentals and the basics of SEO and how you can use them okay, to optimize local websites, but he also talks to you about how to set up your business. And I'm pretty sure there's some done-for-you solutions, templates, forms, all of that great stuff. And of course, it's back with a money-back guarantee that if for any reason or really no reason at all you don't like it, feel free to get your money back. So I highly recommend you check it out. Check on the link below or click on the link below. Check out more about it. And again, I appreciate you watching this video. And be sure to check me out at my blog, www.timothycastleman.com. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.